Hello, this is Paul Cramey of Sirius Software. We're going to continue with our discussion of business closing. And in this particular video, we're going to look at the actual process of initiating and carrying out a, a, a close for a day or a week or a month or perhaps even a year. What we're going to cover is, if you recall from prior videos, the first one we looked at a, the overview and we talked about what was actually meant by a, a business close. In the second video, we looked at some, end of, or some setup steps that you can take to customize uh, what is included in a daily or a weekly or a monthly close, so it's customized to suit your preferences. And then in this video, we're going to look at the actual process. Uh, the steps that you will take to initiate and carry out a close. The specific content of this video is going to be use of the quick reports menu or the quick reports function. And this is the function that you're going to use to actually initiate a daily or a weekly or a monthly or a yearly close. And then we'll conclude by looking at the reports menu or the reports function, which is where you can go to reprint a report uh, from a prior period perhaps, or initiate a close uh, for a period without specifically generating um, you know, reports. Okay, now we want to talk about the actual day-to-day -day process of uh, doing a business closing. And we do that through Quick Reports. Quick Reports will open the choices of the uh, predefined or customized uh, report groups that we've talked about um, in the previous two videos. And the process really begins with the choice of the closeouts. The closing is an iterative process. You would begin with the begin close to do reconciliation. Then you would choose the close day as step number two, and that would execute the uh, the some a series of reports and what we call actions. And then thirdly, if it's a 12, if it's at the end of a calendar month, then after the close day is finished, then the third step would be chosen for step number three to close the month. You would do that one 12 times a year. And then on December 31st or at the end of the calendar year, you would do the fourth step, which would be the close year. and execute it. So the process from day to day is we suggest that you do the reconciliation, the begin close, immediately follow that with the close day. Then if it happens to be the last business day of the month, you would choose the close month. And then if it's the end of the calendar year, you would do all four of those um, functions, those, uh, those report groups. And in all cases, if you're executing one of the groups, you would simply choose the print button that will bring up the normal print dialog box. And when it opens up, you would simply choose the print button. And then that will initiate the printing of any of the uh, chosen reports initiate any of the actions that would be included in there and do any actions related to closing if those are involved. So you choose the print button and then print and that would initiate the printing of all of the respective reports. Now the other groups that are here are administrative in nature. They have nothing to do with closing these can be used on an as-needed basis if you choose to do so. Now within any given predefined group, if for any reason you would choose not to do a backup, for example, 
You can simply deselect any one or more of these items and then choose the print button and everything that's checked would get executed. Anything that is unchecked would get skipped for this particular cycle. Now it's not unusual that there will be a need from time to time to reprint a particular report. And you can do that through the reports menu. So if you needed to reprint a particular financial summary, you would choose reports, financial reports and closeouts, standard reports, and then financial summary. Now when you're reprinting a report, I don't care what it is, you can choose more parameters than what you would normally do through a, a closeout. So if you're reprinting a report, when it wake comes up, you're going to probably want to choose the particular uh, period that you're going to close out. So rather than choose it since the last daily closeout, you would select prior closeouts and then prior daily closeout. And we don't show it in here, but there would normally be a list of all of the individual daily closes that had been done. So you would choose the one that you want to print, reprint, say OK, and then print. And then that particular report would get uh, reprinted. So you can, in, you can reprint individual reports you cannot redo a, an entire group from a prior uh, from a prior period. Another option that is available to you through the reports menu is rather than do a close through quick reports, you can do a close uh, through the reports menu by choosing reports financial reports and closeouts. If you want to create a report, you can do so. If you want to create an export, you can choose the QuickBooks or Peachtree or whatever. Or you can just literally do a close for the day, for the month, for the year. These do not create any kind of reports at all but they simply put a closed entry into the system. So you can close the day, the month, the year, uh, close the export, uh, etc. Uh, but they don't generate reports. But you can also close out related if you choose. Go to financial, print any reports that you want, export any files that you want, uh, but do those one at a time. Uh, mention those, but I still we still strongly encourage you, if you're going to do the closing on a on a business like basis, it is far better to do that through the quick reports menu, and choosing the appropriate closeout uh, group, be it reconciliation or day or month or year, or depending on what uh, where you are, perhaps multiple ones of those. To recap this particular series of videos, uh, in video number one we discussed an overview of the uh, closing process, what it entails and what it really means. In the second video we looked at the uh, setup steps that you can initiate to uh, customize the process of closing to suit your preferences. And in this final video uh, series that we looked at the actual steps and the actual process associated with closing. Hope this uh, series has been helpful. Uh, thank you for participating and listening.